Do you know that nine out of ten of us have uh, funny fannies and don't know what to do with them? So what's new is fun and entertainment. We would like you to meet the galloping gourmet of the needle, Mr. George Trippon. This is you. Have your husband pick you up and lay you on the dining room table. And then make sure you have the proper bra on as he cuts around you and molds you. And make sure all he is doing is fitting the lace, please, ladies. You know, you must learn to control your machine. You must never let your machine control you. The more you women learn to control your sewing machine... Oh, I shouldn't say this. The more you can control the man in your life. Because a man is like a machine. Keep him well oiled and he's happy. But at this point, especially at the plunge point, I make sure I anchor it because there's nothing worse than putting a dress on like this and you say, oh my God, it plunges way down there. You gotta be careful about that. It's terrible. The top facing here, you should clean seam. And the right side, you bring the facing down, we'll assume we clean seamed it. We don't have time for this. We're only getting $5 for this garment. If we got 50, we clean seam it. You give them what they pay for, honey. <laughs> oh, I'm just full of tricks. In fact, that's why they call me an old bag. Bag of tricks. <laughs> when you pin, you pick up the point of your pin. You never reach in a box of pins. You might pick up a few like this and sprinkle them on there, you know, like you're blessing it if you're the Pope or if you're Catholic. Or you can make believe that you're, you know, seeding your garden. I don't care. Where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are. Good heavens. Well, you just have to make a bigger bow, see? Make a big, long bow. Oh, my God. Gorgeous. That's a V, honey. V, V, V. V for victory. You wouldn't remember that if you're under 16. We had a World War II a few years ago, you know. This big fat guy from me running around going like that. I don't know what he's doing. Really. And I'll just pin these two edges together at this point. Now, this is a halter type thing. You all know what a halter is. You know, it goes here and it halts you here. So it's a halter. <laughs> but please, ladies, when you're cutting on the floor, you cut the same way on the paper. And think of it as exercises. You're stretching and losing everything. It's good for you. Believe me. If you were to try this dress on before you stitch it uh, with the facing, you would put what we call a running stitch here to control the neckline. Otherwise, my dear, your neckline would go like this and you'd have gapophis or the bustophis and there's nothing worse. Well, you know, really, people be looking down in there. I can't stand that. Make sure when you have finished your handwork that you kind of uh, feel the dress all over, but gently. There's nothing worse than having a pin stick you that you've forgotten that has laid in someplace. I know, I once had a woman I did some clothes for and oh, in the hem of the coat we forgot the pin. <laughs> She was the guest of honor at a dinner and she was sitting on that dais. Is that what they call that stage thing where they sit? Ah! <laughs> and they hadn't even introduced her yet. Mm, I love the Midwest. There's so many marvelous things there and the people are so lovely too. Somebody said, I remind them of the Midwest sometime. I said, what do you mean? They said, well, the corn is so green there. <laughs> so I'll be right back.